That's all organized crime is. Bullets. Boom. I'm determined to take them down. You're under arrest. No one's above the law. Freeze! You are the daughter of an Indian family. And you are a chef. Awesome. The restaurant burns down tonight. You have to save it. I can't let this family fall apart. Quantum Leap, Monday on NBC. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Dave Bautista, NBC Today. On our broadcast tonight, how to help emergency responders after a snowstorm. We'll learn why a simple check could save a life. Plus, one year at war in Ukraine. We'll see where the conflict stands as both sides dig in. And a new squad car for the Cranon Police Department is student-inspired. We'll explain as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Dan Hagen. Throughout northern Wisconsin, about a foot of snow fell from yesterday into today. This slows everyone down, which is not a good thing in the case of an emergency. News Watch 12's Kyle Pazorski has more on how firefighters want you to do your part so they can safely do theirs. We kind of have to be prepared to, for all situations. When it comes to winter storms, local fire departments have a lot more to handle than you may think. We'll go through our backup equipment. We will coordinate with our membership, make sure we have, if we have to open up emergency shelters, that we have supplies on hand. Brian Gehrig has been with the Pine Lake Fire Department for over 40 years. He says in order to do their duty to keep everyone safe, homeowners need to do their part if the worst of situations were to happen. Make sure your site addresses are clear so that we can see them. He says something as simple as that can make a big difference. If not, a lot of times the snow will fly up and cover the those numbers. If we can't see them, it's, you know, creates a very difficult situation for us to try to locate if it's a, like a medical emergency. And in many cases, when the snow begins to build up, Garrick says keeping other vital home systems in check will save a lot of headache and a visit from the fire department. Make sure with a lot of the new style uh, furnaces that your vents are uncovered um, so that they don't you know, back up and create carbon monoxide in the house. Reporting in Pine Lake, Kyle Pazorski, Newswatch 12. With the cold snap coming, fire departments recommend not plugging in a space heater to an extension cord or power strip. And let's get to weather. That cold weather is coming our way right now. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us in the studio with more. Jeff. Yeah, hey, Dan. Temperatures are dropping quickly out there now. A fresh snowpack will do that along with Arctic air. That's in place across our area now. Already six below in Phillips. The rest of the area kind of hanging out single digits currently. We'll have low temperatures pretty much down below zero tonight. We'll have some recovery across the area for tomorrow. But there's just a lot of cold air to the west of us right now. Ten below in Grand Forks, 15 below in Bismarck. That's the air coming our way for one night only and then highs tomorrow back up near 20 and then actually back in the 30s or so over on Sunday and Monday. All right, so out there now, the back edge of the snow is right across our region now going that way. So still a couple flurries out there. Not a big deal anymore. Our attention then turns toward the west and here comes our next system. This one here will be in our backyard Sunday into Monday with another pretty good snowmaker across the Northwoods. Before that, though, maybe some light snow across our region late Friday to Saturday. Our forecast though for tonight though is partial clearing out there now and cold with low temperatures down near zero. Your full forecast is coming up, Dan. Thanks, Jeff. An investigation is underway after human remains were found in a house in a house fire in a village of Elderon. Elderon is about 25 miles east of Mosinee. The Marathon County Dispatch received the call at about 4 a.m. today. When first responders arrived, they found the home engulfed in flames. Parts of State Highway 153 were closed for about six hours as crews attempted to put out the fire. Crews later discovered a body that had been inside the building. The situation is under investigation. A stabbing at the Islamic Society of Wisconsin in Green Bay sent a man to the hospital. The 52-year-old man reportedly suffered life-threatening injuries. Police say a person of interest is now in custody. Right now, they're only identifying the potential suspect as a 22-year-old man. Police don't believe this was a random attack. A motive remains unclear, but they say the two people knew each other. The National Transportation Safety Board said the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, was 100% preventable. 
According to the NTSB report released today, an overheated wheel bearing caused the derailment, probably. The investigation found the axle temperature was higher than 250 degrees. An alarm rang out to alert the crew and the train started stopping as it was supposed to. However, the bearing was already so damaged that it failed before the train came to a stop. Those heat sensors were 19 miles apart along the route. The NTSB report says more frequent sensors along the track could have prevented this derailment. A new champion has been crowned in Green Bay, and aged Gouda made in Connecticut is that champion. It's called Europa and was voted as the best cheese in the country at the U.S. Championship Cheese Contest today in Green Bay. Winning cheesemaker Eric Schmidt said the key to his cheese was time. Let that uh, bacteria do its thing in cheese. You gotta really let it ripen. You gotta let it, um, you know, the, the, the Helveticus do its thing. The, you know, all that certain culture's gotta do its work and you just need that time. Schmidt was born and raised in southern Wisconsin before eventually moving to Connecticut. Nine Wisconsin cheeses made the final round of 20. It's very exciting. I mean, this is the Dairyland state, so we like to keep the title in Wisconsin, but it is U.S. United States Championship contest, so let the best uh, cheesemaker win. The contest is run by the Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association every other year. Next time, it will be in Madison for the World Championships. Former Wisconsin Governor Tony Earle passed away today at the age of 86. After suffering a stroke this past weekend, Governor Earle was hospitalized and spent his remaining days surrounded by his daughters and close family. Governor Earle served as the 41st governor of the state of Wisconsin. He also served as an assistant district attorney in Marathon County and as the Wausau City Attorney in the 1960s. He went on later to serve in the state assembly. Governor Earl is survived by his four daughters and 11 grandkids. About 20% of eligible voters cast ballots in the Wisconsin Supreme Court primary. The Wisconsin Elections Commission announced Wednesday that unofficial results show voters cast more than 960,000 ballots on Tuesday. That translates to about 20% of the eligible population. The turnout was among the highest for a spring primary election with a state Supreme Court contest in recent years. Only about 16% of voters cast ballots in 2020 and 16 in 2018. Wisconsin will almost certainly stay in the political spotlight through the 2024 presidential election. A National Republican signaled today another effort to curry favor in the Badger State. Milwaukee has been selected to host the first Republican presidential debate of this cycle. No other debates have been sanctioned at this moment, and no final criteria for the first debate has been set. Democratic candidates have won the vote in Wisconsin in every presidential election since 1988, except in 2016. The city is also hosting the Republican National Convention next July. The Crandon Police Department ordered a new cruiser, but they needed a design to make it stick out. So they contacted some local students for some help. Newswatch 12's Nick Van Zyl spoke with the Crandon Police Chief and has more. You look for different ways to incorporate the community. Eric Bath is the Crandon Chief of Police, and he says what? Officer Matt Schultz had the idea to use a student design. I started networking, uh, made contact with um, Rocky Alstein of Airhead Designs. Bath then contacted the Crandon Elementary School and asked for students to submit designs on a template. Each design had to include certain things. Each kid's picture had like an American flag, um, 911 emergency uh, to camouflage to um, the badges. With over 70 entries, officers and school staff had to narrow the field down. We picked five designs and then we gave them to Rocky who took pieces of each design and incorporated it into our final design. Rocky took a side view of the police cruiser and loaded it onto the computer and began drawing the American flags, camouflage, and the individual letters. It took me about 12 12 hours to uh, start the drawing, to print, laminate, cut, and apply it to the uh, police car. They took the ball and just, you know, kept running with it and turned out amazing. Each of the five student designs are located on the back of the cruiser for everyone to see. Chief Bath says he appreciates all the community involvement. Anything I asked of anyone, it was like, how can I help and how can 
how can I do better? And we're just very thankful that we had the community support that we did. Reporting in Crandon, Nick Van Zyl, Newswatch 12. The new cruiser is already in use and residents can see the student-inspired design on the streets. Coming up, we'll learn which snowmobile trails are reopening after that winter storm. After Weather with Jeff, right here on Newswatch 12. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated. So you need someone who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. Ag Country. Ready, set, go! Boat show, boat show, boat show! Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to the biggest and best boat show this week, only at American Marine and Motorsports in Shano. We're matching deposits up to $1,000, or we will beat any competing price by 500 bucks. Don't be left out in the cold all year. Get your new boat at the American Marine Boat Show this week, Thursday through Sunday, Shano. Boat show, boat show, boat show, boat show! Today, it seems everyone can be their own service technician thanks to the Internet. From servicing their own cars and engines to home remodels and projects, people are trying a little of everything. Here at Maher Water Corporation, we employ nationally certified and factory trained technicians to keep your water treatment systems working to their full lives. We will treat you like our own family. So if you want us to service your equipment, give us a call. But if you're the fix-it-yourself kind of person, we'll enjoy your funny video clips. Dan Kelly won't keep our community safe. As a lawyer, Kelly defended child sex predators who posed as ministers in order to prey on vulnerable young girls. They lured young children to locations they believed to be safe only to sexually assault and molest them. And Dan Kelly defended those monsters. Do you want someone like that on the Supreme Court? Dan Kelly, an extremist who doesn't care about us. All right, friendly reminder that spring is 25 days away. I was thinking back earlier, back to 2019. Tomorrow, we peaked at 34 inches of snow on the ground. That was at February, where we had 62 inches of snow, and our frost depth was 30 inches deep in the soil. Right now, it's at 18. Uh, so, yeah, we had a pretty good snow yesterday, and there is more snow in the forecast, but nothing like it was back in 2019. But there is some more snow in the forecast. A little bit of snow tomorrow night in the early parts of Saturday, and then what could be a pretty good system getting in here late Sunday into Monday across the entire state once again. After we did this last couple of days, many reports of close to a foot of snow across our area. Now, two-day totals in here, uh, including about 11 inches here at the station. So overall, this thing did what it was supposed to do. Light, fluffy snow uh, underperformed in a couple areas. Overall, though, lots of people saw a foot of snow last couple of days. And that snow is now ending. There's still some lake effect snow flurries in here. There is a north wind right off of Lake Superior right now, a wide open Lake Superior, no ice out there at all, uh, bringing us some lake effect snow showers tonight. Uh, those could trickle into Vilas County. Most of us will not see that tonight as the snow kind of snuffed the snow moves out of here and we are in a drying out trend for tonight with lots of clear sky. But then our attention turns toward the west. Here comes our next system. It's already making national news across parts of California with blizzard conditions there, flooding there, wind there. That's our next storm system coming in here late Sunday to Monday. And it's likely going to be as strong as the one that came through yesterday. So who is ready for some more snow? We're not going to avoid this one again. Uh, definitely some more snow in our forecast tomorrow night. And then again, the bigger one getting in here late Sunday into Monday. All right, let's walk you through it. So tonight, clear skies, you know, clear skies, a fresh snowpack means cold temperatures. We'll have lows below zero tonight. Here we are about midnight on Saturday. Some light snow across the area. This will not be a big deal. Probably a one to two inch snowfall then. Then we get a nice day on Saturday, a nice day on Sunday, followed by the main event gets in here again. Now here we are early uh, Monday morning with a combination of snow and some freezing rain and rain quickly changing over to all snow. And this snow could be heavy throughout the day on Monday into Monday nights and then out of here by Tuesday morning. But it could be another big 
lake system across the Midwest and Great Lakes once again. Let's walk you through snow totals for tomorrow night into Saturday. A widespread one to two inch snowfall is on the way. Uh, we've been through worse than this, of course, so here we are. We can handle that one just fine tomorrow night into the day on Sunday. Okay, so here we go. Out there now is already eight in Rhinelander. Our northwest breeze around six. They feel like temperature of two below. Over in Wausau, it's 12 for you in northwest breeze around six as well, and they feel like temperature there of three. And look at these cold temperatures just to our west. Minneapolis is four, nine below in Sioux Falls. That's the air coming our way for tonight. With some breaks in the clouds and the fresh snowpack, many of us will see low temperatures down near five below or so. And then recovery nicely, 18 is a high tomorrow, 24 for Saturday. Then look, we're back up in the low 30s, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. So our forecast ends tonight, though. There's lots of clouds out there. Kind of lake effect, snow showers can't be ruled out. Low temperatures down near two below to about eight below tonight uh, with that north breeze near 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, it's Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Partly cloudy. High temperatures near 18 and a southwest breeze around five. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Metro shows tomorrow a nice day. Tomorrow night into Saturday, that light snow, not a big deal. An inch or two of snow tomorrow and Saturday. A uh, nice weekend Saturday, also on Sunday. Sunday night into Monday, freezing rain changing over to all snow, and that snow could be locally heavy again on Monday. Dan. Thanks, Jeff. Many of you probably experienced similar scenes like this one today. This is in Rhinelander, where residents saw about 10.7 inches of snow over the two-day storm. The heavy snowfall event went from Idaho to Michigan. Minneapolis and Minnesota received about 17 inches of snow. Marquette and the Upper Peninsula also received around 17 inches. A section of a parking garage at a suburban Milwaukee shopping mall has collapsed today. Three floors of the garage at Bayshore Mall in Glendale collapsed this afternoon. Footage shows a mound of snow at the bottom of a gaping hole in the concrete garage. Fire officials at the scene said they believe no one was injured in the accident. After being closed earlier in the month, snowmobile trails in Marathon County are set to reopen tomorrow thanks to this recent snowstorm. The Marathon County Parks and Recreation Department sent out a press release this evening. Zones 1, 2, 3, and 5 will reopen at noon on Friday, while Zones 4 and 6 will remain closed. According to the release, trail conditions are good, but be advised of potential ice, especially on corners and hills. Snow is powdery, so it may blow and drift. Use caution on creek and water crossings. Also, Lincoln County trails in Zone 3 will open tomorrow at noon, while Zones 2 and 4 will reopen at 8 a.m. on Saturday. If you received a delivery through the Postal Service in the Northwoods, chances are it passed through the Rhinelander Post Office. And the motto, through rain, sleet, and snow, was put to the test today. Even on days like today, delivery drivers still have to complete their routes. The Rhinelander Post Office delivers 18 routes every day. The postmaster there said it's worth slowing down on days like today to make sure every driver does their job safely. Does this, this type of weather, uh, the challenge, it will slow them down in terms of how long it's going to take them to finish their route. Um, the, the bigger issue is with safety. Turek makes sure his team is prepared for conditions. Having the right equipment will allow his workers to get the job done. You know, my role to prepare them is just to make sure they have the right supplies, uh, cleats for their for their shoes so that they, you know, can walk safely, no slips, trips, or falls, uh, hand warmers, uh, make sure they have all of their other uh, cold weather gear. And as long as I give them those tools, uh, then the group I have is going to go out and get the job done, period, end of story. Road conditions and delivery times should be back to normal tomorrow. Well, it was surfs up for some people on Lake Superior today. We'll take a look at that after the break. Plus, a dive into a why a Milwaukee Buck star is investing in farms. We'll be right back. Here is your News Watch 12 Ski and Board Report, brought to you by Ski Rule.
for premium, for capable. The GMC AT4 lineup, premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Or get 2.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on turbo high output engine Sierra light duty models. I just got the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from US Cellular. With the most powerful processor yet, it can game smoother than ever. With nitography, it can take selfies in low light. Click. And with a longer battery life and US Cellular's 5G network, it can stream my favorite shows around the clock. Amazing. Can it go back in the back? Yeah, it can go back in the back. Okay. Did you just kiss the phone? The new Samsung Galaxy S23. I don't think I did. Free for everyone from US Cellular. I kissed you? Yes. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford SUV, like Bronco, Explorer, or the new Escape. Get here to get a deal on the SUV's number one in brand loyalty. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on Escape, Edge, or Explorer with 3.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 1,000 Auto Show cash. Coming up, we have another edition of Homeward Bound for you. And that sounds very exciting. And the snow will start to get out of here soon, so Friday will be a lot better, but a little bit more snow Friday night and another system to keep an eye on next week. More when you tune in on your Friday from 5 to 7 a.m. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. A winter storm may have run through the Midwest, but that didn't stop a group of surfers from hitting the waves. The storm has turned up some pretty big waves on Lake Superior, but this group of surfers was not going to let these tasty waves go to waste with the cold temperatures. The water temperature on the lake is currently at 33 degrees, and it goes without saying that's pretty cold, though with wet soups, it helps a little bit. Chris Middleton is a Milwaukee Buck, an NBA All-Star, and now a farmer. Middleton is joining Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow, Celtics forward Blake Griffin, and about two dozen pro athletes with the investment firm Patrikoff in acquiring a 104-acre farm in northern Iowa. Land is, is one thing that I've always learned. Um, there's not going to be any more new land. Mm -hmm. So um, to, to buy land where you're able to, I think, is one of the smartest things you could do. Um, to own a piece of the earth is one of the most valuable assets you could have, but also when it comes to farming, um, this is something that can help and save many people's lives. The land will be leased to farmers with the group seeking a single-digit percentage annual return, but actually, can Middleton work the land? Contractually, can you jump on a tractor, till a field, can you do any of that? Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I could. I used to ride a couple of tractors with my granddad um, every now and then, but uh, they would definitely have to you know, give me a refresher course if I had to do it all. Middleton insists this is a long-term investment, and even in an up-and-down economy, it's a stable investment. The Bucks host the Miami Heat tomorrow starting at 6.30. Middleton is expected to play, but Giannis Antetokounmpo is doubtful with a wrist injury. Coming up on Newswatch 12, a new study shows good sleep means a longer life. We'll hear some tips on getting some quality Z's after the break. trust him with a car. Of course we can, Lindsay, with AAA Auto Insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance, too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. See your local Northern Wisconsin and UP ski doo dealers. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty an answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we
we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-247. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. I trust him with a car. Of course we can, Lindsay, with AAA Auto Insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance, too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. Millions of Americans missed routine cancer screenings during the pandemic. But a research study suggests people are starting to return to normal screenings. Data published last week in the journal Epic Research found rates of screening for breast, cervical, and colon cancers have returned to normal. Doctors say anyone who missed a routine cancer screening during the pandemic should catch up now. Following five good sleep habits added nearly five years to a man's life expectancy, according to a new study. It also added two and a half years to a woman's life. The habits are falling asleep easily, staying asleep, getting seven or eight hours of sleep, waking up rested, and foregoing sleep medications. Those with zero or one of those habits had a 30% higher mortality rate than a person with all five of those habits. Though things like staying asleep is easier said than done, some tips to get better sleep is to avoid alcohol and caffeine before bed and to avoid blue light for an hour before bed. The study was from the CDC and the National Center for Health Statistics. On February 24, 2022, Russia began an assault on neighboring Ukraine that sent shockwaves around the world. One year on, the war continues, despite Russian predictions of an early victory. As spring nears, however, there is growing fear of what could come next. Amanda Sansoni is in Washington with a look at where the conflict is headed. One year ago, Russia launched a full-scale invasion into Ukraine with the goal of toppling Kyiv and seizing the country. We assumed that it would quickly take over the country and that the Ukrainian military would quickly fall apart. Yet Ukraine continues to defy expectations. Ukraine is alive and kicking. The losses immeasurable, thousands killed, millions forced from their homes, while some cities have been virtually wiped off the map. Russian troops also decimated, Western officials estimating the number killed or wounded to be nearly 200,000 in what has now become a war of attrition. This has been a failure for Putin all around. But Russian President Vladimir Putin is not retreating. Instead, the Kremlin is conscripting more troops and telegraphing a massive spring offensive while blaming the West for escalating the conflict. He can't really lose a war in Ukraine that would really threaten his power at home. The United States and NATO allies are surging weapons to the front lines to bolster Ukraine's defenses. In a visit to Kyiv, President Joe Biden warning of what a Russian victory would mean for the world. This is so much larger than just Ukraine. It's about freedom and democracy in Europe. It's about freedom and democracy at large. And a sharing Ukraine. Despite the long, difficult road ahead, Biden says the U.S. will remain steadfast in its support until the end. Freedom is priceless. It's worth fighting for for as long as it takes. In Washington, I'm Amanda Sansoni. The Internet of Things is evolving, creating the Internet of You. And Spectrum is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices with our best deal ever. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Call 833-739-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers speeds starting at 300 megabits, so you can surf, stream, game, and more. Advanced Wi-Fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with reliable coverage, plus the fastest wireless speeds available. 
Switch now. Call 833-739-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One. Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Call 833-739-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Here's your News Watch 12 Snowmobile Trail Report, brought to you by your local northern Wisconsin and Upper Peninsula ski doo dealers. In today's economy, it seems the value of a dollar continues to shrink, while the services offered are getting less and less. Here at Maher Water Corporation, a new high-efficiency system made by WaterCare can help ease the stress on your checkbook. We are always available to analyze and recommend one of these units. So while we can't actually make your money grow, we can make the value of what you get from Maher seem like it. To right, check middle, and on the left. <laughs> I knew I'd Dean. win. Are you saying What's something? really happening over there? I think you're on mute. There's no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. <laughs> Old Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> Well, this was the scene in downtown Hayward tonight. The Berkabiner isn't until Saturday, but tonight was the giant ski championship. Jeff, that looks like something uh -huh. that you could do and you would like. I could do that, yes. And you're in that race, of course, on Saturday. I cannot wait for you to text me Saturday night to say, Jeff, I place in the top 10. There is no chance of that. Yes, I hope I get in the is. top 1,000. You are better than you think um, you are. But I do want to shout out my dad. He's yep. going for his 26th. My That's brother, cool. I think, is going for his 8th or 9th. So that should be a That's blast your family this thing. weekend. Yeah, it should be fun. I don't know how you do it. All right, let's check on the weather outside. It's getting kind of cool outside. Temperatures are hanging out in the single digits right now. Look at this beautiful scene, though, in Rhinelander, right? The snow on the ground. The uh, roads are covered, of course. Uh, but we're used to that across north central Wisconsin. Uh, temperatures already three below in uh, Phillips there. Area. We'll have low temperatures tonight pretty much for everybody. Down below zero with breaks in the cloud cover and that fresh snowpack in place. And then, yeah, all lots of cold air to the west of us for one day only. Tomorrow, highs in the teens and then things change. Uh, a little bit of snow tomorrow night, just a little, not a lot. And then a much bigger system gets in here on Monday. I couldn't have asked for a better temperature than 24 on race day. Is that good? Saturday. That's a good yeah, temp? Yeah, that's okay. great. If that holds up, that'll be awesome. Got it. Well, thanks for joining us on Newswatch 12. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Upgrade any space and maximize storage with great closet systems from Dakota Closets. Make your storage your own with our selection of custom sizes and styles to match your specific needs. Dakota Closets are easy to set up and are great for hanging clothes and storing accessories in any room of your house. Get 11% off all Dakota Closets right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You've got this. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Your newly purchased defenses, top of the line. Your backup, backing up. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with Access Checking. It's maintenance fee free with no minimum balance requirements. So if your new house still has some old tenants, we'll make sure your checking account won't be giving you any surprises. You've got this with Associated Bank. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford truck. Like a next-generation pickup. Get here for a deal on F-Series. America's best-selling trucks, 46 years straight. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 credit cash and 1,000 Auto Show cash. It's hard being a smoker. Hmm. 
I've heard all the lectures. You know, you shouldn't smoke. I know all the signs. I've seen all the faces. I know the money it costs me. But that doesn't change the fact that it's hard to quit. The Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line. No judgments, just free health and medications.